Action. The cellar door is just about the only place on earth where spitting in public is considered polite. Oh, my bad. Um, we might need to move this forward. Can you tell there's wine there? You can? Where spitting in public is considered polite. Oh, have we got another cloth? Anyone? Does anyone actually even use a spittoon anymore? I mean, just get a designated driver. Oh, you, can you see that? Or can we go again? Is it subtle? Oh, oh. I am so, so, I had no idea. Okay, go for it. Great, we got it, moving on. That's how you do it. Such a waste of good wine. I don't understand. New South Wales is full of amazing female winemakers. Are just none of them available tomorrow? Or well, what about her? Who could she call me? Hey. So tell me, what uh, oh, other shows have you researched on? What's that? Um, I've done corporate years. I'm pretty good. Yeah. I mean, if we eat, we eat like you're really good at it. Uh, no, I ordered the uh, spatchcock. So that is the spatchcock. <laughs> I think you'll find that's a guinea fowl. <laughs> Are you going to say something? Or well, um, do you think maybe? I mean, he's really good. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to us. Uh, look, it's been a long journey to get this show made, but here we all are. Uh, and what a great team, spearheaded yeah. by our amazing host, Chris Taylor. Hey! Only because Hamish Blake was too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> he literally was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but look, uh, as a Hunter Valley boy who grew up with wine in his veins, you know, literally, literally so you know, this is always something. I'm just it. making a speech, thank you. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to make a show like this. Mm. And here's our chance. So let's just get out there and make the best goddamn wine Sir, show. Thank you. She I, really is quite insistent. The best goddamn wine show we can make. To plock. To plock. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Really rude. I didn't even get to drink my wine. Mum. Oh, stand still, Josh. Why are you so nervous? What if he doesn't like me? Oh, we have been over that hill, honey. All right, it doesn't matter what, what people think. Think of you. It doesn't matter no, what people, people think, think of me. I didn't think you were coming. Oh no, I didn't come here to eat with you. God no, no, I'm just dropping him off. Sorry. Well, he's your new researcher. You say hello, Josh. Doesn't matter what people think of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I've already got a researcher. Well, now you've got a different one. Mm, right, okay. Yeah, so Marin Bateman is probably best known for its cool climate Riesling, its Shiraz. Mm, I love that level of detail. I was just thinking that you and your friend from The Chaser, you're no longer at the ABC, are you? No. And I was thinking that if you want to come and sit at the adults' table, then you're going to eat whatever the hell I put in front of you. Do you understand that? <laughs> Look, my son needs a job, and God knows why, but he's a Chris Taylor fan. Oh, don't get me wrong, I like Sideways. I just thought it lacked a strong female voice. Hmm. Right, now, you sure you're up for this? Yeah, who are you? Think I'm going to embarrass you again? No, I don't. I'm embarrassed. I've got. I think that you are my special little man. That's what I think. Right, keep it light, keep it sexy, keep it on budget. Does he even know anything about wine? Well, of course he does. He loves it. He's written a, a, a blog and everything. Is that true? Yeah. All right, cool. Come on. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'd just like to introduce our new researcher. This is, um... Uh, Josh. Josh. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. Was that my spatchcock? I mean, who the hell is he? We can't get rid of that other researcher. She had amazing research skills. You'll like him. He's a writer. Well, what's he written? It's, uh, like a blog. Jesus. Good night. Hey, I'd do it in my own room, yeah? You wanted to share with a researcher. Chris Taylor from the telly! Hey, do you want a musket? Uh, there's plenty left. Oh my god. 
Hey, 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 do you want me to leave the water in for you? Chris! Nothing, it's just, Isn't you know, a little sexist. Josh, we're just trying to differentiate ourselves from every other wine show. Yeah, you know, episode one, female winemakers. Episode two, uh, maybe Asians. Isn't that Sorry. racist? No, we'll be talking to them. Josh, it's inclusive. just do your job and find us a female winemaker. I don't think he's ever found a female in his life. So your daughter's a winemaker too, yeah? Yeah, that's young Steph. Yeah. yeah, is she around? Could we interview her? No, not really. She's uh, she got another job, and it's pretty hard for her to get out these days. Oh, okay, yeah. guys, here we go. You ready to go for one? Yep. All right. And off we go. So Ken, you're the chief winemaker here at Helm Wines. That's me, Ken. And we're here in the uh, I guess you'd call it the Canberra Wine District officially, although technically we're still. In New South Wales, does that get a little bit confusing for people? Well, it does for some, but we're in the Murrumbateman area, and that's known as the. Sorry, so are we? Are we hearing? Yeah. Is that audio? Yeah. Josh, Josh, we're hearing that. We can hear that, mate. We can hear that. Thanks, Josh. Sorry, Ken. Just a bit of an audio issue there. We'll yeah. go again. Ready and action. And if these barrels could talk, eh? So, what are we uh, drinking here? This is the Cabernet Sauvignon. This is the Cabernet Sauvignon and also the Cabernet Shiraz we make. And uh, how's the, uh, the new vintage shaping up? Oh, the 2013 is the vintage of my lifetime. The Cabernet Sauvignon we've got in these casks. Go, 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 He's a moron. He's a total liability. We've got to get rid of him. We can't get rid of him. He's the boss's son. Oh, you are kidding me. Well, he's killing the show. He's killing the show. What do you want me to do? I want you to fire him. I can't fire him. I told you why. Well, you've got to do something. All right, well, I will think of something. Please, just let's just get through today, or I will work it out. <sighs> Still got wine on it. Oh, where's Josh? I think he might be with the crew car. Yeah, nice. So this place definitely has a female one making. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey. Very well. Do you uh, want to do a bit of a tasting? No, uh, you have a female winemaker here, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. My wife Jamie and I make the wines together. Right, do you mind if we do an interview with her? Uh, she's actually gone for the weekend. Oh, uh, the whole weekend, you're kidding, really? Right. Yeah. But look, I'd be happy to take you through the wines, if you like. Who's this? That's uh, Mariana. She's a German backpacker here doing a tasting. Oh, hi. I'm Chris Taylor, and I'm the wanker. Oh, hello. I'm Chris Taylor. I'm Chris Taylor from the telly, and I'm a terrible fuckhead. And action. You're one of the most respected winemakers in Australia. What drew you to this region? Um, I like to drink wine um, sometime uh, at night. But excuse me, am I even in this... Look, I'm actually the winemaker sorry, here. Bill. Sorry, Bill. Yeah, well, um, we're just getting this, and um, it's just a, it's just a framing thing. She's just here doing a tasting. I, yeah. s I think it's just us. Yeah. Let's do that to me. I mean, could this just be kind? You know, it's that hard to do it.
any female winemakers here? Female winemakers, no. Drive. Drive? Drive. I, I, I'm the Australian winemaker of the year. Sorry. So we think this is completely believable, do we, Nath? You got a better idea? Why don't we get Georgie to do it? Because she's up in the Hunter Valley setting up the next episode. Turn your head around. I can still see your moustache, Gus. Just... Yeah, because the moustache is the problem. OK, here we go. Action. Stephanie, is Merlot a typical variety of this region? I think so. I just want them to like me, you know? I mean, am I that unlikable? What they want is a female winemaker. If I could just find one female winemaker, I would. Who make wine? Are you serious? Yeah, I make is wine. Is she serious? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a brilliant day. Winemaker. Uh, her name's uh, Jamie Crow. She's from Four Winds Wines. Runs the place with her husband. We did okay, Josh. Nice one. Not bad for a moron. Here we go, guys. And action.